Hi, it's Chris, <clears throat> and we return to the uh, iceberg rejuvenation uh, project where about a month ago we cut back substantially the iceberg roses and then used a, an organic fertilizer approach, a truly natural OMRI or the Organic Materials Review Institute, I believe it's called which gives its certification for natural growing products. And um, we're also doing some additions here. The homeowner, who is uh, very fashion oriented has uh, decided to add these uh, really very large and beautiful pink Memorial Day roses to the uh, chocolate exterior paint or to the house and I think it's going to work really well trust me if I didn't I would have said so but we look at our iceberg roses you can see the one plant that was suspect where when I was digging I found a lot of layered uh, dried up paint and it never rebounded and uh, successfully died off this plant will obviously have to be replaced. We'll also wind up removing a great deal of the soil immediately around it. So we get rid of whatever toxic material went in there. And unfortunately the light's coming off a little bad that direction looks like. Try it from a different angle. The iceberg roses are just breaking on their new blooms. Try and get in here with uh, maybe shading it out myself. Sorry, I don't have a very large production crew here. But as expected, a beautiful true white iceberg blossom. Plants are about another 10 days away from being flushed in a really heavy way. Lots and lots of uh, buds popping up. Very strong new growth. No pest issues. It's late September now, and this becomes our drier portion of the year in Southern California. So we wind up with very little powdery mildew problems. Usually an iceberg rose in a cool, foggy summer like we've had this year would be uh, struggling with some powdery mildew problems, maybe even some downy mildew. But that is not the case going into the fall when we get our much drier, warmer air. So, an example of uh, using a natural fertilizer approach, very strong natural fertilizer approach, not that 5-4-2 or 4-3-2 crap you see at the uh, nursery center they want you to buy. This was the much higher, more potent uh, 15 uh, 12 type uh, level. I'll put down the exact recipe on the uh, underneath the video captions. And if you're going to grow naturally, at least put some power and some punch in there so you get the beauty of your plants. So right now we're putting in the two 15 gallon Memorial Day tree roses in the front. Um, it's an important note here. I'll make a quick separate video about it, uh, but since we're I'm doing this, this is a very old house. It was built back in the uh, 40s, and it still has the original plumbing, as I found out down in here. There's probably about a, a three-quarter inch galvanized pipe down in here that is corroded or grown out, <laughs> expanded out to about a inch and a quarter with all the stuff around it. You want to be very careful not to disturb that or have a broken main line. Homeowner is going to have to make a note to uh, replace that in a year or so. So, you know, it's important when you're working in these older homes, very careful not to disturb the uh, utilities. Don't take a pick and forcefully excavate your holes or allow the gardener to. You'll wind up with broken sprinkler lines, broken water lines, a punctured gas line, 
any number of things that will take a pleasant garden addition and make it an absolute maintenance replacement nightmare. Thank you.